thank you for calling IRS department. How can I help you today, sir? Well, I, I don't know. Something kind of strange is happening. I got a message on my computer a couple of days ago to call this number, and, and now I've missed two calls today. Message. Well, I, I had something on my computer about my, my social security, and, and then I see today I've missed a call from this number. I, I haven't listened to see if there's a message, though. I just I just called back immediately. Okay, did you receive the message in your cell phone or in the home phone? Uh, on my cell phone, which I, I'm calling you from now. Okay, can you give me the number? I, I don't know the number off the top of my head. Could I, could I not give you my name? And my, the last four digits of my social security? See, sir, in order to give you more information about this, what I need to do is I'll let you update your phone number, okay? The number which you have updated to the IRS. Well, well you, you got the number because you called me. See, sir, the IRS, they have already transferred your file to Treasury Inspector General of Tax Administration. And now... What, well, what does that mean? Office of Crime Investigation Division. So I'm speaking to the Crime Investigation Division right now? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, so what do I need to do? Well, see, I'm here to give you some information about the case, okay? Okay. okay, then can you give me a case ID number? I, I don't, I told you I didn't listen to the message, so I don't have the case ID number. The, the message on my computer, it said something about my social security. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Hold on a second, sir. All right. Hello? Okay, sir. I believe you have updated your phone number to, the, to your local IRS, right? Uh, I'm sorry? Did you update your phone number to the local IRS? I, I believe so. Okay, did you update your cell phone number or your home phone number? I, I don't know. It, it was quite some time ago now, so I, I can't remember. I, I, I think I would have given both, but I, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I got a new cell phone a few months ago, so... I, I don't know. Okay, then. Right now, in which number you are calling me from? You are calling me with your cell phone or your, or your whole phone number? I, I'm calling you on my, my cell phone. I'm still here at the office. Okay, can you give me a home home number? Uh, I th hang on, because I, I, I don't know how to work this phone, really, so I don't know how to look up the number, but it would be 775? Seven seven five eight eight one eight eight one. Okay, sir. Hold on a second. Okay, I will have to. I will have to talk to your local IRS about your details, and then I'll give you a call back. Well, I'm not at home, so you won't be able to call that number. You, I mean, you called my my cell earlier today. I mean, can you not find this information from my name? Okay, can you give me your name? Yep, my name is Wayne. Sorry, Ren? Wayne. Wayne. W A Y N E. W A Y N E. Okay, do you have a last name? Yeah, I have a last name. It's it's Kerr. K E R R. Sorry, sir. Kerr. K E R R. Okay. That's right. Okay, hold on a second, sir. Okay, thank you. Hello? Sir, I need your case ID number. Well, I, I don't have that. Can you not find this information from my name? I, I can give you the last four digits of my, my social security. Are you aware that the IRS is going to file a lawsuit against you? No, I, I wasn't aware. You have a case against the IRS. 
I have a case against the IRS. I haven't I haven't filed any action action against the IRS. See the audit department found some discrepancy and unauthenticated activities in the federal tax file. So are you aware about that? No, I I, I wasn't aware about that at all. on your tax filing between the year of 2009 to 2014. And what you found out that total of your tax worth $2,576 is still unpaid. And the IRS has discovered a strong evidence that you failed to declare your actual income which was higher than what it was mentioned. And you have been wrongly benefited from reduction which you are not eligible for it. And the IRS has discovered that this is not a result of an innocent negligence. And rather, we have a reason to believe that it was a willful act done with intention to defraud the IRS. That is the only reason this legal issue is against your name with four allegations. And the allegations are count one, violation of federal tax regulation, count two, violation of internal revenue code, count three, theft by deception, count four, Willful misrepresentation of the information to the government organization. So now at this moment of time, the IRS has decided to forcefully recollect this amount from you. Forcefully? By imposing Internal Revenue Code, which is 63118 against you. Oh. Okay, sir. And, and okay, sir. I can see your, I can see your case ID number here is DC20216. Is that uh, B for ball? B is in Belfast. Okay, B is in Belfast. C for for what? The, C is yeah, Charlie. C is in Charlie. Okay, two zero two one six. Then yeah, I believe you can get it the same number in a message. I, I'm sorry. I believe this is the same number. This is the same case ID which we have sent you in your message. Okay, well, I haven't heard the message. I'm sorry. And how much was it that I, I yeah. owe? $2,576. This is we re audited your tax file, okay, for the year 2009 to 2014. Right. And we found, we found a multiple error and miscalculation. Okay, and, and what, so and what do I... On I'm sorry, go ahead. You're still on $2,576. So, sir, how do you want to take care of this matter? Do you want to resolve it in the courthouse or out of the courthouse? And what, what's the difference? See, if you take your matter to the courthouse, then what we'll be doing is we will go ahead and we will forward your case to your local county court. And then once your case gets registered, you will be contacted by the sheriff department with your arrest warrant. And so you can hire a criminal attorney who can defend you in the court. Okay? Okay. And what's my other and option? If in, case, if in case you lose the cases, then the IRS can sue you for almost Thirty-five to forty thousand dollars, including your total outstanding penalties, interest charge, attorney fee of I IRS, and court charges. Well, that's not and fair. And at this point of time, if if you are unable to pay the amount, then you will be behind the bar at least for seven years. And I'll be behind the bar. will be seized by the government. I'll be behind the bar. Like I have to quit my office job and, and work in a in a in a saloon. Yes, sir. Because. The IRS has decided to forcefully recollect this amount from you. Okay, but involving six against you. How long will I be this behind? Is, how long uh, will I? How long will I have to be behind the bar for? For six to seven years. For six to seven years. Well, I, I could serve cocktails for six yes. to seven years. That that doesn't sound so bad. See, sir. According to Revenue Code six three one one eight, which means. The IRS will mark a lien on your assets, including your house, your car, and all your non-bank accounts. Your passport will be seized along with your state identity in the next couple of hours. And but why would the IRS give me a barter run and then just take it away? Sorry? 
you're gonna put me behind the bar, right? Like, I'll be serving drinks to people? I mean, that, that doesn't sound so bad. See, if you resolve the matter in the courthouse, okay? If you win the case, that's well and good. But if you lose the cases, then the, then the IRS can sue you for six, uh, thirty-five to forty thousand dollars. Oh, so and it's only if, if I win the case that I get to work behind the bar. Now, if you win the case, that's well and good. Nothing will happen to you. But if you lose the case. Okay, so what if I go to court and I say, well, this was just a mistake, and, and, and you know, I. And I give the judge a little kiss, and maybe he'll just let me go. Yeah, you can you can go to the courthouse and you can tell them about your tax file that you have not defrauded the federal government intentionally. That's what you can do. Okay. But I don't think the IRS, but I don't think the IRS will make a mistake. So it will be a hard time for you to win a case against the IRS. Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. So so how do I resolve this outside the courthouse? You, you're going to meet me there, right outside the courthouse? I'll drive up now and sit on the steps and wait Is for you? In, in order to resolve the matter out of the courthouse, you will have to pay your outstanding amount. That is $2,576 to the IRS. Okay. Well, I can do that. Okay, if you want to resolve the matter out of the courthouse, then what I'll do is I'll hand over the call to one of my senior officers who is handling your case, okay? All right. And that... let you know about the resolvement option. Okay, and what, what was your name? Sorry, I, I don't think you gave me a name. Uh, so my name is Officer Travis. Officer Travis? Yes, Travis Black. Travis Black. Okay, do you know my brother is called Travis too? Wait. You probably don't know that, but yeah, my, my brother is called Travis. He doesn't have to pay taxes because he's on disability. He's got a little problem in his brain, but it's okay. Okay, sister, has you told me that you want to resolve the matter out of the courthouse, then I'll hand over the call to my senior officer, okay? Okay, I, I'd appreciate that. Thank you very much, Travis. Yeah, and sir, do not hang up this call. As this a recorded line, and we need this recording. Okay, this I recording I, 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 I won't I won't hang up. In favor of you. I won't hang up. Okay, sir, be online. Okay, thank you. Hello. 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 Yeah, hold on a second, sir. My senior officer will be here in a second. Okay. Hold on a second, sir. Okay, okay? thank you. Line. This is Senior Officer Alice White. Sir, am I talking to Wayne Kerr? That's correct. You're talking to Wayne Kerr. Okay, so since you said on the recorded line, as, as I was monitoring your call, that you want to resolve this matter out of the courthouse. So let me tell you that to resolve this matter out of the courthouse, you need to come up with your total after any amount, which is $2,576. So would you be able to come up with your total lesson in right now so that we can go ahead and close down this case for you? Y yeah, that's not a problem. Okay, so do you have the amount which you that is $2,500 which in cash or in your bank account? Yeah, I have it in cash. You have that in cash? Yeah. Okay, so listen to me very carefully because I'm going to only tell you one. That is the terms and conditions where you need to follow in order to make a payment. So, this time the payment will be in form of electronic voucher, which is called the Federal Electronic Tax Pain Voucher. So, you need to get this electronic voucher from any of the nearest stores, but it will be a government authorized store like Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, 7 Eleven, the Rite Store, or Radio Shack Store. So, do you have any of these stores closest by right now? Uh, well, I, I could walk to, to Radio Shack. There's a little. Uh... There's a little estate with like some, some a Denny's and, and an Applebee's and a Radio Shack and, and some, some other big stores up there, Macy's. Okay, so which is the closest store right now to you? Which is the closest store? Uh, Radio Shack would be the closest store. Radio Shack. Okay, so how much time will it take you to reach the Radio Shack store? Uh, well, I could walk there in, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so do, don't you have a car where you can drive there to get as fast as soon as possible? No, I'm, I'm not allowed to drive. 
I, I had my license taken away because they told me that apparently you, you're not allowed to drink scotch and drive. I mean, I don't know who made that law, but it is ridiculous. Okay, so Mr. Rainey, without making it further delay, you can quickly walk over to the Radio Shack store, but do not disconnect this line. Okay, okay I, I, I won't. If you get disconnected, then your adjustment option will be totally closed for you, okay? Sorry, and do my, not keep my... Do not keep me on mute, because we need this entire recording to said that you have worked with the IRS to play in the courthouse if you get into any kind of trouble and issues with the IRS in future. For that reason, you do not have to keep me any hold or you do not have to keep me any mute. Till the time your case is not resolved. Okay, and, and you, you said you something, my, my resolvement officer line, would do what? My, my resolvement officer would do what? I'm Officer Alice White from the payment department. We're going to assist you further regarding the payment charges. Well, that's, that's funny, right? right? Like, you, We're you, not wasting much time. Okay, no, I'm sorry. It's just funny because you, you, your colleague, his name is Black and your your name is White. If you, Alice, if you got Alice, married, Alice, you'd be gray, Alice, right? Alice, right? Alice, right? Alice, uh, sorry? Alice White from the payment department and you can also take down my ID. That is Officer B's ID number. Okay, you can write it down. Okay. If you got a pain in paper handy, okay. I R I for entire I for revenue nine six one seven two. Okay. I repeat nine six one seven two. Okay, Eric. Okay, right now, Mr. Reddy, are you gonna move on to the? So I, I'm I'm sorry. What what did you say? Okay, what did you say? My name was. I don't think you're pronouncing it correctly. What did you say, Mr. What? Wayne. No, Mr. Wayne, but but my last name is Kerr. It's Wayne yes, Kerr. Wayne. Mi, mi, yes, Wayne. Yeah, Wayne. Wayne. Yes. No, not Wayne E. Okay, just, just Wayne. Wayne. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you can so call you can me, darling. You can, you, can, you darling. You can call me just Wayne. You don't need to call me Mr. Wayne. Okay, I'll let you know when I get to the store. I'm, I'm going to pop you in my pocket. I'll, I hope you don't mind being down there. It's a little hard and it's a little sweaty, but I, I, I can't really use my phone and walk. I'm, I'm not great when it comes to multitasking. But I, I'll, ke I'll keep you. I'm going to pop my phone in my pocket right next to my sack. Uh, uh, and it's a little warm and sweaty, but I hope you don't mind. I'm just gonna put you down there for a little while while I walk to the radio shack. Is th is that okay? Do not disconnect me. Just uh, I'm not. With your hand. It will be easier, so we don't get disconnected. The the problem is I I gotta take my my bag, so I'm gonna have to have one hand on my bag and the other hand I need to balance. So I'm gonna have to put you in my pocket. And if you get disconnected due to a network problem, then I'll get your right back. Please okay, well, we, 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 won't, we, won't, we won't get okay. disconnected. What I'll do, I'll, I'll leave you on so you can hear me, but you'll be in my pocket, so I might not be able to hear you so good, but I'll make sure I'll, right, I'll, no I'll tell you when I get to the radio shack. I've, I've okay, done it so before. I've, I've had, had many, many car. women down okay. there before. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I'm going to leave okay, right now. If you the parking lot radio shack, let me know, okay? All right, I, I will, darling. Thank you. Hello? Hello, miss? Yes, hello, Mr. Wayne. Yes, I'm here. Have you reached the store? Yeah, I'm just walking through the, the parking lot now, but it's, it's very windy out of here, so I'm going to go into the foyer. Is that okay? Okay, wait a minute. So listen to me right now. So the electronic voucher, which I'm talking about, is called an iTunes card, okay? So do you know what iTunes card is? Uh, I don't. Okay, I can spell that out for you. I-T-U-N-E-S, okay? I for ice cream, C for Tom, U for umbrella, E for eagle, S for Sandra. Uh, so, I'm, I'm sorry, I, 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 I used to be in the services. Could you repeat that in, in phonetic alphabet for me? Okay, okay, sure, sure. I for ice cream, T for Tom. No, I mean like the, the official, f I find it hard to understand because okay, you, you, you put in words in my brain like okay, ice cream and now, now all I'm thinking about is, is, is pistachio it's ice cream. iTunes card, I-T-U-N-E-S, I repeat, I-T-U-N-E-S. Okay, so that, so in, 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 in phonetics that would be I for India, uh, T for Tango, U for Uniform, M for November, E for Echo, S for Sierra, correct? 
that's great. You got it correctly. Okay, so I'm, I, I'm going to explain to you what iTunes card is. We are collaborated with the Apple brand for over two years by now. As we do not take any payment over the phone, and as you are not authorized to pay anything over the phone. That is the reason why we're taking this iTunes card in, form, uh, in the form of knowing that you have got a payment with you or not, just to get an evidence from you that you have got a payment or not. So once you have the right card with you, and I need to confirm whether you have the correct card or not, then in that we can, you know, we can, we just, I mean, we can hold this case against you. So for that reason, you need to go into well, the I thought this was to, to drop the case, yes, not to hold the case. Yeah, to, to, draw, to drop the case, to drop the case. So you can get that for $2,576 card. You can get one card for $500 each if that is available. And if they do not have the one card for $500, you can do it for 100 cards. $100 card, one card each for $2,576, okay? Okay, so I, I need, wait, wait so I, I need to buy 25, $2,500 cards and then one for $76? Yes. Yeah, you can, you know, I can tell you that $76, you, can, you don't have to take that. You can get the 2500 500 card. Okay? Well, I'd rather get and this all, get the I'd rather get this you. totally cleared up now, so I'll, I'll just buy $2,576 and put it on one card, right? No, you will not get one card for the whole amount. You'll get one card for $500 each. Well, this is very but complicated. But available in the store, because there is no $1,000 card. One card for $1,000, you will not get it anywhere. There is only one card for $500 available, or you can get one card for $100 each for the whole amount. So once you have the card, you can come out of the store and let me know whether you have the right card or not. And do not forget, it is called an iTunes card, all right? Okay, yeah, I got and that. And do not talk to me inside the store. Okay. Once you're outside of the store, then let me know that you have the correct card. All right, well, I, I needed to go in the radio, the radio shack the anyway, because cause Sanjay's been, been wiping my hard drive for me. Sorry? The, the man that works in the in the radio store, Sanjay, he's been wiping my hard drive for me because cause my brother Travis, he put some stuff on there. I don't know if it was completely legal. Uh, I mean, he's got some strange, strange fetishes, so, so I, I, and I didn't know how to clear it, you know. I didn't want anyone looking at that, so I, I took it into Sanjay, and he said he'll, he'll get that fixed up nice. So I, I'm killing two birds with one stone here. I'm paying off my taxes and collecting my hard drive. Well, see, you can get the card in cash. And once you got the card, you just need to confirm me because you're not going to pay anything over the phone. You just need to get the card. And if you ask me where you're taking the card for... Okay, so I, I don't have to pay cash that. money for these cards. Money, okay? So explain to me how this works. So I, I take the cards up, I, I say this is, this is for, for my taxes, and, and then they say okay, and they give me the cards, and, and I don't have to give them any money? I'm going to explain to you thoroughly. So you are now inside the store or outside of the store? I'm just inside the doors, but I'm not in the actual store yet. I'm in the foyer. Okay, I'm going to explain to you. So, we are collaborated with the Apple branch for over two years by now. The, as you are who is Apple? Outside of the courthouse. What's okay? a a Apple? Interrupt me and listen to me, okay? Okay. So, once you have the card with you, I will have to confirm whether you have the payment with you or not. As we don't take any payment over the phone, okay? Okay, so, so I, I just pick up these cards the right and walk card out the, the store. I don't need to pay for them. And see, listen, once I confirm that you have the right card, then I can forward this to my attorney general, and he will have to take care of everything, and he will release the documentation which is lying in the federal court. And once the documentation are released... I, have, I haven't been lying in the federal you, court. It will be sent it over to you by our tax paying advocate service team. They will bring it to your doorstep. And you need to look on them. They will explain you detail what kind of error was that, what kind of miscalculation has happened. And once they explain to you, and once you sign in the confession letter that stating that you have made a mistake, only then we will re release the documentation and everything. For that reason, and you can make deep in the payment in the form of an electronic voucher that is called an iTunes card that is hand to hand and face to face as you are not going to pay anything over the phone. And you are not entitled to speak to any third person because you are under sub-judicial act under Chapter 63C. Well, I have until to speak to Sanjay. He's my matter. friend. See, until and unless I need to get my hard drive matter, back. You are not entitled. That would be a violation of the laws and regulation of the federal government.
Well, if I walk into Radio Shack and I, I don't speak to my friend, then he's gonna he's gonna smell a rat. Well, then you can go to another store where you can get that iTunes card. So I have to go to another store? Yes, because if you think that it's a problem in the Radio Shack, then you can probably go to another store. Well, I, I don't think it will be a problem. I mean, he's he's a nice guy. I mean, that's why I trust him with, with wiping my hard drive. See, you are not entitled to disclose this matter to anyone until and unless you resolve this matter. But I can buy the because cards. Can I buy the cards and... Under chapter 63C. Can I buy the so cards and just and just, just say to Sanjay, Sanjay like, ma mind your own business? Can I do that? No, I'm so sorry. You need to follow the... You need to abide by the terms and condition of the federal government. Okay, so I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need, I'm gonna need to go to another store. I mean, I, I'm on foot here, so it's going to take me some time. Yeah, you can just go to another store. That is, if the Walgreens is nearby, then you can go to Walgreens. Well, it's going to be about another 10, 15 minutes. No problem. You can just go to the another store. Tell them I'll just be online with you, okay? All right. And make sure there won't be any kind of problem with you. No, I don't know the people. Because in, I don't know the... kind of trouble... Well, there's there's a Seven Eleven there's a Seven Eleven garage at the end of the street. Is would that help? Seven Eleven. Yeah, there's a Seven Eleven. Okay, if you sure, you can go to Seven Eleven, and once you reach outside of the store, just let me know. Okay, okay? well, I, I'll be there in about ten, fifteen, twenty minutes. Yeah, okay, no problem. All right, I'll I'll I'll, I'll leave Radio. Sh well, I'm gonna have to pop into Radio Shack quick now to pick up my hard. Actually, I'll. I'll no, I'll do that now because I'm here. So you just give me a minute and, and then I'll, I'll start making my way up to 7-Eleven. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. I'm, ju I'm just w almost outside the 7-Eleven now. I'm sorry. It took me a bit longer than I expected. Sanjay and I were having a laugh because he saw all the stuff that my brother Travis has been downloading to my hard drive and... You know, he's got some, some pretty strange fetishes. He's really into his, like, Eastern ladies at the moment. So there was, like, some, some I mean, because he, he's from India, so he was laughing because he said my brother has good taste. I said, I don't, I don't agree. So I need to go in the 7-Eleven, and, and what do I need to do now? I'm sorry. What did you just say? From India? I said, my friend Sanjay, he's from India. And he was laughing because my brother Travis, he's downloaded all this, these dirty movies like, like uh, Indian ladies being gangbanged and that type of thing. And he was laughing. He said, my brother's got very good taste. Are you here playing with me? He because said, are you here playing with me? Because this is a serious issue and you're getting something else which is totally out of caution. So are you here playing with me trying to waste my time? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you, darling. I was just explaining why why this is taking me a bit longer than, than it should have. See, if you do not want to resolve this matter, you can just go ahead and hang up the call. And no, no, I, I, I want to resolve this matter. I, I'm sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to upset you. I was just making friendly conversation. That's how we are down here. We're very open people. You better go to 7-Eleven and once you reach the store, let me know. Well, I, I'm just walking in. Well, I'm just outside the doors right now. So, what what do I have to do here? Where are you right now? I'm right outside the Seven Eleven. You go and to do what I told you to do. Get an iTunes card for the whole amount and get out of the store and let me know. Okay, so I, I need to get. Enough iTunes cards to cover 2,576, yeah, right? You get iTunes cards for $500. Once you're out of the store, let me know. I'll see that you will proceed further, okay? Get that card for $500 first of all. Just one card for $500? Yeah, so once I confirm that's right, then you can go for the next card. Okay, so I'll just get one and then I'll come out the store. Okay, just give me a moment, darling. Yeah. Mr. Wayne, where are you? Are you going to resolve this matter or are you not? Yeah, I'm in the 7-Eleven. I'm just taking these cards up to the counter. Well, this, I'm getting one card for 500, right? You told me I couldn't talk yes. in the store. Okay, 
Look, are you in the store now? Yeah, I'm inside the store. I, so I'm about to buy these cards, but I, if, if you keep interrupting me, I'm going to have to tell them what, what's happening. Okay, once you got the cards, just let me know once you're out of the store, okay? Okay, what happened to Miss Erica? Say it again. What happened to Miss Erica? What happened to the lady I was talking to? The lady you were talking to, she has to <clears throat> go for nature call. She has to go for a nature call? Yes. Okay. Okay, so, okay, give me a moment and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll purchase this card and I'll, 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 then I'll await your okay. further instructions. All right. And sorry, who am I speaking to now? Is this uh, is this the guy I was speaking to before? Gary Wilson. Sorry. Gary Wilson. Gary Wilson. Okay, you sound a lot like Travis Black that I was speaking to before. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. So Gary Wilson. All right, Gary. All right, I'll be on hold. Okay. Okay. Well, I I, I was dealing with the Miss 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 White. Gary Wilson. What? In the store? I was just speaking to Gary Wilson, and that wasn't you. Can you just put Miss Erica White back on the phone? Because this is very confusing. My name is Gary Wilson, sir. But I just spoke to another man who said his name was Gary Wilson. His name not Gary Wilson. He told you he will he will transfer your call to me. Gary Wilson. Okay. No, I, 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 I'm, I'm at the store. I've, I've, I've just purchased the card, but I was speaking to Miss Erica White. Can I please speak to her again? Okay. She's not really able to move in. She's busy, so you have to speak with me. Well, I, I, I'll Did just wait for her because I, 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 this seems. I don't want to be dealing with with four different people on this call. So I'll just wait until she's she's available. Okay. No problem. Do you want me to sign the warrant of your arrest? I'm sorry? Can you repeat that? Okay. Do you want me... Do you want me to sign the warrant of your arrest? No, I, I want to pay the money to Miss White. Okay, so you have to see the back side of the card did you see the back side of the car, the silver scratch panel? You have to scratch it tentially. No, I, I tell you, my, my brother there. Travis, he's been looking at a lot of backsides on that hard drive if what Sanjay said is to be believed. Did you did you get the iTunes card or not? Yeah, I got what well, Miss White told me. Apparently before, when I was at Radio Shack, she wanted me to get 2,500, but now she told me just get one card for 500. So I've just got one card okay. for 500. No problem. Now come out of this store. Okay? Are oh. you in the store or are you out of the store? No, I'm just stood out. out. No problem, sir. Did you see the sc uh, silver scratch panel back side of the card? Yeah, I now see look it. Now at the card. There is a silver scratch panel. You have to scratch it gently, okay? Once you scratch it, let me know. Okay, well, I, I've scratched it. It was very easy. It wasn't a, a complex task to complete. No problem. Once you scratch it, let me know, okay? I've scratched it. No problem. Now you have to help me out with the code. Did you see the code number which is start XS and X-ray? Yeah, I see it. Okay, no problem. Now help me out with the number and go slow down. Uh, go slow, okay? All right. Well, it's X for X-ray. Uh-huh. Y for Yankee. Uh-huh. C for... Clouds. Charlie. Uh huh. Eight four. Sorry, I didn't get you. Eight four. Number eight. Number four. That's right. J for for Jesus, like follow the Lord. Uh, uh huh. C for Christ, like Jesus Did Christ. See what? Okay, after the what? D for dog. T for dog, okay. H for hilarious. Okay. M for masturbation. My my Travis does it's a lot of M that. It's Amazon Mary? Uh, yeah, Amazon masturbation. Uh-huh. 
four. Mm-hmm. K for knight, but not knight like night time, knight like a knight in shining armor. K for kite. Yeah. Eight. Uh-huh. Eight. Number number eight. Yeah. T for touch it, touch myself. It's C as in Charlie. No, it's T as in Tom. T as in touching, as in touching stuff you shouldn't. Okay. Okay. Three. Number three. Six two. Six two. Okay, and the card limit, uh, the card uh, limit is five hundred dollars, right? That's correct. Okay, now look at the card. I will verify the code. You have to look at the card. It's X as an X-ray, Y as an Yankee, C as an Charlie, number eight, number four, J as an John, B as an David, S as an Hotel, M as an Mary, number four, K as an Kite, number eight, T as an Tom, number three, number six, number two. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay, no problem, sir. Okay, now. Do you have, uh, <coughs> you have to go to the another store, right now where are you? Are you at the... I'm at thing? the 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. No problem. You have to go to the same store and get more two cards. Now, did you use your debit card to purchase this card? No, I used cash. I used cash. I used cash. No problem. You have to go to the same store and get more two cards because each store has limit you will not get more than three cards so you have to go to the same go to the same store and get more two cards of five hundred dollars okay? okay i'll go and so get I'll more i'll go and get more two cards, cards. Go to just the same store. okay Once just you got the card come out of this store and let me know okay just give me a moment okay hello gary wilson Hello? Did you get uh, ISIS card? Yeah, I got two more cards. No problem. Be sit in your car. Once you sit in your car, scratch it gently and help me out with the code. I, okay? I'm not in a car. I'm I'm walking. Your your colleague Erica, she knew all this. Is is she back from her call of nature yet? Sorry, I didn't get you. You told me before, Gary, that that Erica had gone for a call of nature and she would be back momentarily. So no problem, you have to just help me out with the code, okay? Well, I, I would rather deal with Erica because we, we'd build something of a rapport. What report? A rapport, a rapport. Not uh, a report, yeah, I will a rapport. Send my, you, I, I you know will, what rapport means? My, I will send my officer today, he will show you all the paperwork. Once you're satisfied with the paperwork, then after you have to hand over the iTunes card to my officer, okay? Not to anyone. You have to just verify me. Okay, I'm, I'm, sta I'm just starting to think out. that Miss Erica got upset because I, I was talking about the, the porn that my, my brother left on the hard drive. And, and I just wanted now, to... Now, look at... <laughs> okay, now don't be get confused, sir. Now look at the card and scratch it gently. Okay, I, I, I won't be okay. get confused. Okay, don't be get confused now. No, I won't be get confused. Code, okay? No, I, I never be get confused. Sir, don't be get confused. I will fix an appointment today. Okay, I won't be get officer. confused. So now, be sit in your car. Once you I'm not in, in a car. car. Why, why, why don't you understand that? This is why I wanted to speak to Erica. Okay, uh, no problem. Now, just look at the card, scratch the card, once you scratch it, let me know, okay? Okay. I scratched it. Okay, now help me out with the code and go slow down, okay? Go slow down? I'm not in a car, I told okay, you. I think, okay, I think go slow when you... Verify me the code, okay? Okay, I, I'm. I would much prefer to speak to Miss Erica. I, I'm. I'm having. I'm struggling a little bit with your accent. Okay. 
not sir i will speak i speak slow so you can understand now look at the card no and that's worse that's code, worse okay? When you speak slow, it sounds even worse. It sounds terrible. Where, where are you from? I'm calling you from Washington headquarters. Of no, the I, 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 I know that. No. I know that. I mean, where are you from? Where did you grow up? Sorry, I didn't get you. Where did you grow up? Where are you from originally? Oh, in Washington, sir. No, I know you're in Washington. Where did you grow up? You know when you was a boy and you went to school? Where? where? Cause your accent yeah, I'm is, in is... America. Yeah, it's because my you, mother... Yeah, I'm in America too. I, where, where in America did you grow up? Washington, I told you. Okay, so, so you've always lived and, and worked in Washington all your life? Yes, sir. Okay, it's just, I, I never been to Washington. No problem. So now look at the card and help me out with the number. Is, okay? is it a nice the place? I, I hear it's great. I, I love to go and see the White House. I mean, well, that's before the elections, right? Are, are you for Hillary or are you for Trump? Uh, 